Good morning, everybody. Chuck here in Tapanom. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's Songkran video. I really enjoyed it too. Today we are headed to Mamu's shop, the shop next to my father-in-law's shop. He'll be closed today. And uh, we're just gonna sit out there. We do this every year. We go Songkran here and then Songkran over there. I think it's funner over there because all of the traffic comes in and it's just truckloads full of people. And uh, they're they're like new. Well, well, they're just coming into the town, not wet yet, until they get in front of Mamu's house. But uh, it's mostly just a lot of family time, sitting around, enjoying the celebration. Very happy that things are 100% back to normal this time. Even better than than it than it has been because I think people are just they're happy. They're happy that they have their freedom again. And we have a new, we have a new government here in the town. So things are more organized uh, event wise. We've had our walking street market going on for a long time now. I've tried it years ago before COVID they tried it, but just couldn't really get coordinated. And um, it takes a good manager sometimes to be able to make stuff happen. And so far I'm very impressed with him. And of course, Nakompanom, the city of Nakompanom, if you haven't been there, you need to check it out. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to go travel to and see the Mekong River. Uh, of course, easy to get there by airplane from Bangkok. And a lot of times you can get there for less than $30. I mean, and the hotels are pretty reasonable. Food is awesome. I highly recommend Nakompanom. Tapanom doesn't really have much. We have a beautiful temple. Um, you can take a 50 baht bus from from uh, Nakompanom here pretty easy, or a taxi. Of course, taxi won't be 50 baht. <laughs> but my mom is doing fine. My mom would not probably like to come be around all of these people. <laughs> she, she'd be like, okay, it's time to go. But I don't want to travel. I don't want to travel during this time. I don't recommend traveling during Songkran for at least uh, four days before and four days after. Um, traffic and checkpoints and stuff like that just is, if you don't have to travel, don't travel. Ordering my breakfast right here, my soup, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. Good morning. Well, that was a good breakfast. I'm going, I'm going to uh, take you guys around the town on the motorbike today. The motorbike, we barely, hardly ever ride the motorbike. We definitely never leave our little town. I don't think I've even gotten that thing up to 50 kilometers per hour. I think my e-bike's gone faster than the motorbike. So, I don't even have a motorbike license. A lot of times in Thailand, especially in the small provinces like this, you'll, they don't even have tags on their bike. Because if you don't leave the province, most of the, well, I'm just talking about in Isan. I'm not talking about in Phuket where they have checkpoints for make sure foreigners are legal to rent and drive motorbikes. We'll just call it that. 
I'm just talking about at Isan. If you stay in the town, nobody really cares much. So I, ha I own a helmet. I think I've only wore the helmet. Actually, I don't think I've ever wore it on the motorbike. But we don't uh, we don't go very very fast. I'm only saying this because every time I'm on the motorbike, Chuck, you need to be like I'd be the only person in town wearing a helmet, <laughs> going 20 kilometer per hour. I should just buy a football helmet with a full face and pads. <laughs> YouTube is is a funny place. So I, sometimes I talk about what other people talk about on the internet because I sh I make YouTube videos, so it's a, it's also about not only sharing my life but also there's a comment section and it's an engagement and and the channel it's part of the deal so i talk about it sometimes it's funny sometimes things are funny but i want you to understand like a different a different opinion sometimes on what people think uh based on where they come from anyway we'll go right through the town uh, and and see what see what's in the town before we head to Mamou's house. And we'll probably go there about ten, which is in about three. What time is it now? I got up at six, so right now it's seven thirty. And we'll go around ten o'clock. Oh, we're gonna have that beef hot pot tonight. Yeah. Here at the house. Well, I'm just trying to update some videos right now. I just got my internet back online. It was off. Uh, the main hub is in Konkan. Something happened with the with the hub there. Me and Paige are going to go for a little walk before we head out. I want to start by thanking our newest members of the No Time to Be Sad channel. If you guys are interested in non-monetized content, kind of behind the scenes stuff, uh, it has nothing to do with our already everyday life videos or being a subscriber to the channel it's just additional content if you guys are interested just check the join tab but i want to thank aiden thank you very much aiden and i'm going to go through the list here hang on sean clark thank you sean very much for that and snow wizard snow wizard <laughs> thank you snow wizard gregory rice Charles Poker Adventure, and I think that's about our newest members here just recently. I appreciate you guys very much. Now uh, let's go for a walk. I'm not bringing a weapon, so hopefully I don't get wet. <laughs> or at least not be able to fire back anyway, huh? I'll have to steal their weapon. Come on, cow gum. Right, gum. Hang on, Matt. Theme's coming. Good night. Done. Cow gum. Money, money, money. Oh, oh shit! She's just going that way. What are you doing? Cow gum. Money, money, money. Oh. Good night. She doesn't want to go home because there's too many people over here. Why? Huh? So the cops want to be my. I do it, cop. I do it. Boy. Come on, boy. So the cop. Oh, okay. Come out. That is kind of heavy. I think cow gum is getting old and cranky. She don't want to be around all them people anymore. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old and get cranky. Is that you? No, not me. I have the perfect microphone set up right now on another camera, but it's not waterproof. So these next few videos are going to have my waterproof camera. So maybe windy, noisy, not perfect. But neither am I, neither is Thailand. And neither is anything else, really. Wow, isn't that pretty?
he almost got us. We ducked out. <laughs> today a lot of people were making some other suggestions about the permanent resident thing I just want to say I had some other options that were offered to me in my conversation uh, my final conversation about it with some extra money, if you know what I mean. But we both decided that since I'm kind of in the public, that we were just gonna not do that route, you know. There are some other options out there, but uh, it's not that important to me to pay the money anyway, you know. You can just about get anything you want, I think anywhere in the world with money, so. I decided not to go that route. In case you were wondering. Are you sore from yesterday? Mm -hmm. You sore? This went on a little bit. You ready to throw some more water? Yeah. <laughs> you got your song crown? Is that the new one? Huh? My favorite. Song crown? I guess we're gonna have to come back. They're gonna have a big party. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> Our friends got front row. Maybe they had it yesterday. Good morning. Good morning. It looks looks like you're gonna have a big party. Last night. Yeah. Last night and tonight also three nights, ah. three four nights, four nights together. Oh, they have concert. That, that, something like that. Yeah. They have stayed and single and they, they have dance. The people dance, enjoy dancing. Hi. Yeah. So what we be my everybody Thai Song Kran days. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy. Good luck everybody. <laughs> Was it fun, Sanong Mai? Uh, I, I, I don't join the party, I sail in the temple. Oh, I move, yeah. I move to sail in the temple. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just work, I'm work, working woman. <laughs> you need to take a vacation. Uh, this is, this is, some, some day, some day. Yeah. Some day, some day. Some day like vacation. <laughs> when there is no, no client. Yeah, okay, today I hope yeah. you have many clients. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. you he too. got the flower too. What? Oh yeah. You need some? Yeah. You need some? No, I don't. You want some? From I'm me. trying to cut back on the flowers. Yeah. For the head? <laughs> or for the head? Oh, I like that. Oh, I see like this. Oh no. I mean, hat, so you won't see it. I feel like it's going to be really loud. <laughs> Tonight. Yeah. I'm embarrassed to say that we went to bed about six o'clock last night. I don't know. I was just like, we were non-stop drinking since like what ten o'clock. We had how many cases of beer? Two. Well, that ain't too bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad because we get rested up for today, you know. My, my uncle, you know, he has to Yeah. He left. Uh huh. He's not gay. Why did you put the phone? That smells wonderful. สวัสดีปีใหม่ว้าได้กี่รอบแล้ว
รอบเดียวรอบเดียวเราคิดแดงเหมือนวันนี้วันนี้อากาศจะเป็นร้อนซีดีเป็นใครที่จะเสียมันนะเยอะใช่ไหมเซนเยสเตอร์เซนเซนแต่เดิฟเฟอร์I'm okay with a good time, a party, a celebration. It's gonna be loud. Everybody's having a good time. But these people, they just uh, they turn it up all the way, and then they close their door because it's not pointing at their house. Oh well. I've never been pulled over on the motorbike and checked for a sticker, but we always keep it updated. Anyway. Of course, this comes with insurance. So I'm gonna take, put that on and take it out. Maybe uh, it'll get rinsed off <laughs> today, I'm sure. Well, you guys can see my father-in-law has gotten rid of quite a bit of, quite a bit of inventory. Paige said he's been selling some engines to some shops in Laos, which is a good idea. He has quite a bit left. I told Paige, look, he, he's got enough room here. We can start this project back here, you know? But she said no, which makes sense because we need to change the roof because it leaks water in here during a rainy season, which is gonna start. I was like, all right, well, I just wish we could start before the rainy season. Maybe next time. I gotta stop pushing the issue. Okay, I'm ready, what do you think? I said I'm ready. Let's go. Silly. Well, I finally found the ice man. Now, 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 it's time to get cooled off. Memo used to be a chef, but uh, she made this pad thai here, and it is spicy. 
It might be the best fat thai I think I've ever had. Like, it is really good. It's just missing shrimp and the little crunchy pieces of uh, peanut and stuff, but it is amazing flavor. Very good. She's gonna make somebody a good husband one day. The little one got behind the big one. The little one got the big one. The little one got behind the big one. The one
six o'clock past my bedtime. No, just kidding. We're gonna go drive around the town. I kind of avoided going home because it's so loud across the street. It's just not even comfortable loud. So um, yeah, I don't know if they're still cooking over there, but we'll go ride around a little bit and then uh, go back to the house. Do it again tomorrow. We're gonna come back here. Are we coming back here tomorrow? I ordered a uh, like a box for ice. Okay.
Look at me. Um. gonna end the video I hope you enjoyed it had a good day today my mother-in-law is not feeling good she got overheated and she's I don't know she spent a lot of time in the kitchen she really shouldn't have she should have been relaxing a little bit annoyed about I don't know the lack of attention to my mother-in-law not feeling well I'll just leave it at that anyway come with us tomorrow We'll uh, we'll have a we'll have a good last day of Songkran. Bye.